Okay, 6B is a little bit different. We're still dealing with bearings, uh, but this time it's, we're, we're given that a semi is going on that particular bearing for 73 miles. After it goes 73 miles, how far south and east is it from its original starting point? Okay, so if, uh, to be begin with this, we have to draw a picture of what's going on. Uh, so we have south, 48.89 degrees east, which means that you'll have something that looks like this. This angle here is 48.89 degrees. So that would be the bearing uh, going in that direction. Okay, so bearing down this way, and it says how far south and east are we of the original starting position? So this point, uh, you can draw a triangle back up this way, or here's another way you could do it. You could actually draw the triangle that way instead, and that way you have the angle already inside your triangle. How far south and east? Okay, so uh, that would be here. Uh, the x distance, that'll be how far east it's going. The y would be how far south it's going. So we created a triangle uh, based on that. So now we want to set up a trig function based on what we have here. First thing, let's, let's go for the south. If we're going to go for the south, uh, and by the way, this is 70 miles, or 73 miles here. Okay, so 73 is going to be how far it goes. We want to set up a trig function that relates the side that we're given. So we have 73, that's the hypotenuse. And a side that we're trying to find. That's going to be the y. So we want to find a trig function that relates the... Okay, now be careful when we label this. In this case, this side is going to be the opposite. This is adjacent. And this is hypotenuse. So opposite 48.89, that's x is your opposite, the y is your adjacent. 73 is hypotenuse. If I want to solve for y, this trig function I'm going to use would be, I'm picking a trig function that relates adjacent and hypotenuse. That's going to be uh, cosine. So we're going to do cosine of 48.89 degrees. Now we don't have to subtract from 90 like we did in the previous problem because we're able to fit the triangle here and the angle was already inside the triangle. So we don't have to worry about subtracting it from it unless we tried to draw the triangle up this way, then we would want to know that angle up there. But the way we drew it here, 48.89 is measured from the south, uh, and it's already inside our triangle, so we don't have to subtract anything on this one. So we're gonna use 48.89, that's equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, that's y over 73. y is equal to 73 cosine 48.89, and again, it asks to round us to the nearest whole number. Uh, so in this case, the amount that you're, we're going to be going south is going to be 48 miles. So we put 48 miles here for the south. Next, we want to solve for the x. That'll give us the amount going east. A trig function that relates that would be, we need to find one that relates an opposite side. That's x. The side we're given is hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, we're going to use sine. So sine 48.89 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is x over hypotenuse 73. We multiply, cross multiply on that. 73 sine of 48.89. And we multiply that out, we're going to get 55 miles. Uh, and this is going to be what we'll put here in the blank. So again, we do trig function for each one, and that gives us the south and the east.